Hi, it's me again. This video I want to talk about um, what is called the hummingbird. I'm just waiting for it to come up on my phone. Hold please, caller. Oh, I think it's having a wee, a wee brain fart. Come on. Ah, oh, this hasn't got a pause on it. Okay, I'll keep trying. Come on now. It's the emmeability scale. Scales of any kind can cause friction amongst people who have been sick with ME for a really long time. Um, and you know that's okay. I've I've actually been sick. This is 20 years for me now. I had I got chronic fatigue syndrome um, after the birth of my son and nine, uh, he was two years after the birth of my son in 1997 I first got sick nothing like this then I had about eight years where I was kind of okay and I knew I'd had chronic fatigue syndrome I knew I could relapse but it, it really never crossed my mind and for me five and a half years ago I had a whooping cough vaccination um, to provide herd immunity for our son who was being born by a surrogacy so he wasn't going to get my natural immunity and we had a whooping cough fix uh, epidemic at the time long story short i got sicker and I, I just my body crashed and i've been deteriorating for the last five and a half years so um I'm on a couple of forums and stuff and you know it's really good to kind of get information and chat with other people and personally I find it I find it helpful when I connect with someone who is kind of experiencing the same level of uh, effectiveness um, and we're all different everybody's different everybody is different so we did this um, physical ability scale and 100% is a pre-illness level of physical activity. So that's from me before 1997. And I was fit, healthy, super mum, could do anything, no problem. Went down a little bit. I was probably functioning at about 90%, maybe 80 to 90% after that. Um, then I got really sick and my doctor said, no, we're, after all years of testing and stuff, we, we settled on the diagnosis. And she settled on the diagnosis of, of, um, of ME. And so now, in the past five years, I've gone from... Uh, probably 50%. And then we keep going down, keep going down. And now my, my physical ability level from 100% based only on my own activity levels, no one else's, but my husband and I, we did this together, and I came in at 4%, um, which puts me between 3 and 4%, which puts me in the very severely affected. Now, so we've looked at what 3% means, what 2% means, what 1% means. Um, and what you know what that means for for what's going to happen to my body and then we do the cognitive ability we went through all of that da 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 da, da, da. um yeah same thing when you see me on a video i'm doing a video either showing when i am being affected by something or if i'm talking it's because i'm having a talky day i can put a sentence together this is not how I am. This is a great day. This is not how I am on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and I think it's really important to remember if you've got ME, one day can be different from another. And probably for me thinking and talking, I've done two videos today, for me thinking and talking about those, that's probably going to require me to be completely horizontal, um, no stimulus, no chatting or anything for several days if not a week so um 
these videos are a priority to me because they document my own journey and you know the I don't know I guess by doing these videos I feel I'm leaving something real when I go which is not yet when I do go I feel there will be um, there'll be a lot of real stuff left behind uh, and my my family is is very supportive of me spending spoons in this way so like I said this is about the hummingbird oh god I've forgotten it already hold please scrolling the hummingbirds foundation for me um ME Ability and Severity Scale. There we go. That's what it's called. I'll put the link in the description. And like I said, it's not... It's nothing to get your knickers in a knot about. Because my 4% is my 4%. You might come in at 30%, but find your life as intolerable as I find mine at 30 So... It's a very individual thing. I find it helpful when I'm on uh, forums or chat boards. I can, you know, I, I can usually manage to read, but I can't always reply. So I'm like the emoticon queen because it's that's just, you know, one click. But I find it helpful to know if I'm talking with someone who is experiencing a kind a similar experience to me, even though all of our experiences are different. So I'll put that link in and I uh, hope you find it helpful. I'm really grateful for, for you watching these videos and spreading the word and things like that. <clears throat> I know the videos are being watched. This, I don't have many subscribers and, you know, that that's actually okay. Uh, that That's not really what um, makes me feel valued <laughs> in the YouTube world. Um, but I know that people are are looking at the videos and hopefully getting something out of it or simply just walking alongside me so I'm croaking now I'm gonna go and have a drink have a lie down I'm gonna find some oh gratuitously gratuitously trashy TV yeah maybe no I think it's a disaster movie day yeah Okay, well thanks for watching and I appreciate you guys putting up with my waffle while I get to the point. Okay, bye!